hey guys, it's David. I'm back again with another apology. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. So it's 1.45 and I'm finally by myself. I know it doesn't sound too crazy to be by yourself at 1.45, but there have been a lot of people over here trying to tell me what to do and give me advice and tell me how to script this apology. I, I mean, helping me out and it's been a lot. I really didn't want to make a second apology but a lot of sponsorships have been pulling out and I've been losing a lot of people, a lot of money, including myself. So I decided now was the time to make a real apology. So first I just want to say this video is not sponsored by Seat Geek. I guess we're not friends anymore. All of my previous apologies were terrible. I don't even know why I decided to apologize on my smallest channel. I was mainly hoping that no one would see it and this would all blow over. This video is not going to be discrediting Trisha or Kat or any other woman who has come forward. Even though I desperately want to and have gotten my friends to do it in the last few weeks and throughout my entire career. I fully believe the women that have come forward and I should have never posted that video in the first place. It only took me multiple years and the possible loss of my career to really realize that. I am so sorry that I put you and your friends in a possibly dangerous situation where you felt uncomfortable. But that was basically the premise of all my vlogs. I would put people in uncomfortable situations and possibly dangerous situations and I would just film their discomfort so I didn't really understand that I shouldn't be doing that. I never realized I was creating an unfair power dynamic. I truly, truly never realized I had this power over people. Except that I mentioned it constantly that my friends would have no career without me and people would literally fling themselves at me to be in the vlog or win a Tesla. I really thought we were just all on the same level. I'm so sorry I missed that. I'm sorry to all the other girls that Dom has assaulted in the past. I'm sorry that I didn't believe you guys. I'm sorry that I made a joke of his disgusting attitudes towards women and gave him a platform to spread that information to everyone and groom an entire generation of people to think that those jokes are okay. And guys, he was my childhood friend. I just thought he was a misogynist. I didn't think he was a rapist. I didn't want to be associated with that type of behavior anymore, so I decided to distance myself from Dom in 2019. Even though we like occasionally hung out and he was featured in the vlog a little bit and I was featured in his videos a little bit and I think he was even in one of my merch drops. Oh, and guys, I, I still have merch. If you want to help me out, I'm losing a lot of money right now. Oh my God, sorry, that's not what this is about. I'm sorry that I perpetuated a frat boy mentality that I've built my career on. I'm sorry that I didn't go back to any of these women and apologize. I kind of just moved on and I learned from it and I grew from it, but I didn't apologize. And I'm not talking just publicly, I'm talking privately too, and that breaks my heart knowing that I was continuing on like normal and making content like like everything was normal and there were people that were really hurt by the content that I was making and why didn't they like the content that I was putting out I'm sorry for all the bad jokes I've made in the past and they weren't even bad jokes they were just offensive I used to use shock humor because I'm not that funny myself. It's just gross that I try to play it off as missing the mark, but it's really just because I don't know how to write a joke, so I'm sorry if I offended you for any joke that I've told in the past. I swear I won't make any jokes anymore. A lot of people have been telling me that cancel culture is bullshit and you should try to fight back. And I did with Scotty's video and, and then Dom's apology, but that didn't really work out. So I need to go down this route now. So I'm taking full accountability now and I apologize again. I'm gonna take a short break from all the social media stuff because <laughs> no sponsors wanna sponsor me right now and I can't make any money off posts. So 
I'm going to let you guys have some time to get over this so in the very near future I can go back to profiting off of you like the good old days. And I, I really hope that forgiveness is possible in all of this. I never want anyone to feel uncomfortable or feel like they're forced into a situation in one of my videos ever again. So I am pleased to announce today that we will be starting the David Dobrik HR department. Um, it's going to be great. So if you're ever in one of my vlogs and you feel uncomfortable, all you're going to have to do is go to Jason Nash, tell him you're not liking the situation, that we're that we're putting you in and we'll stop filming that minute um, and then we'll take a five minute break uh, we'll try to convince you that shooting is okay again and then we'll see if we can start back up I'm so excited then I really hope that this helps any uncomfortabilities in the future so I'm sorry if this video is all over the place I kind of just want to sit down and talk to you guys and I really hope someone out there can learn from this experience because I won't. I really hope that there is a creator out there that can learn from my mistakes. Don't build your platform around doing slightly illegal things. Do those slightly illegal things behind closed doors, not in front of cameras. I promise you'll thank me later. But anyways, see you guys later. Bye. I swear, I wasn't reading off a teleprompter. I swear. I swear, guys. I swear, I was just talking to you.